Welcome to our lab. My name is Valo Gratison. I'm an editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. And this here is my colleague and uh, a very experienced uh, media man, uh, <laughs> uh, John Pearson. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. He's going to be our lab like guinea pig today. So he's ready for this. Uh, you have been you've been working before at at the BBC Radio. That's right. right yeah. So you're very used to like difficult uh, names and like you you like, at least you know you have some experience for pronouncing things and you you we, we um, could call you an expert in this. A, well, a little bit. No, not really, <laughs> and certainly not with uh, pronouncing Icelandic volcano names. But you are learning Icelandic also. I am. Okay. Yeah. What we're going to go over here today are the names. Uh, that uh, are involved with this possible uh, volcano, uh, the Fisher volcano, because they are, well, should we say nightmares? Mm. Or, I mean, tricky. Tricky. Mm. So if, if everything will go off uh, and the foreign press would have to go repeat the Eia Fjalla Jökuls uh, scenario, uh, this is even more complicated. The first name here is Thrawins Skjaldar Hraun. Uh, this is the place that the, the volcano could come up. The trick here is, we, of course, we have the Icelandic letters Thot and uh, Au, of course, and nothing more. Uh, so Thot, keep in mind, is T8. It's like the or the. So you say Thrawin Skelter Hraun. So when you know this trick, it's, it's much easier to say Thot. It's like Thorolver. You could you could write it with T H, like Thorolver, or however you would pronounce that. Au is of course with an accent, and that, uh, this is the most common like thing I see that uh, people are learning Icelandic uh, get wrong. That is the Au. It's obvious that other people that do not l learn Icelandic or know Icelandic, they they have trouble trouble like hearing it, which is uh, fine, and I understand that completely. <laughs> so. This is also, these are three <coughs> different words. So, Thrawens is uh, a name. It's actually, it could be like, if it was, would be a f like a female uh, word, which is not, it's, it's, it's male, <laughs> okay. uh, then, then it would be desire. But now it's just, uh, it seems to be only the name, but in Old Icelandic, everything had like 50 meanings. <laughs> uh, the next one is Skjaldar. Skjöldur, uh, which is also uh, a tricky, tricky word actually, is, is we, we have four ways to say it, is skjöldur, here is skjöldur um skjöld for skildi til skjaldar. So skjaldar is the, the one we're using here. So this word here means shield, it's like the Viking, Viking shield basically. Uh, and then in the end, this is the simple one, this is hraun. <laughs> it literally just means lava. So try to repeat this word for me. Thrawins Skjaldar Hraun. Thrawin Skjaldar Hraun. Pretty good, right? So there you have it. This one here is Fagradals Fjall. This is the actual mountain. But keep in mind, when the eruption will come, it will not come from a mountain. It, it's around Fagradals Fjall, but the volcanic system is actually called Fagradals Fjall. It's, a, it's the smallest one of five different volcanic systems in the area. So, this, uh, I explained this in my newscast some days ago, earlier this week, and this literally means the, uh, like, uh, the Fair Valley Mountain, or Beautiful Valley Mountain. Fagra is beautiful. Like you can say, my fair lady, that's like uh, min fagra kona. Uh, and then you have dals, and that's uh, like a valley, simple as that. And fjall is like this. Uh, there's also three different words. And keep in mind, the two L's here, we have this <laughs> sound, which is, I know it's, it's like, sounds like, a <laughs> like cracks, but it's, it's, it's easy to, to, to get it when you know about it. So, John? Yep. Fagra dals fjall. Uh, fagra dals fjall. Right. It's a genius. Now to the really, really complicated one. Mm. This is sund hjunga giga röð. These are four words. This is actually the, the tunnel systems around. I think it's part of uh, Svartsengi uh, or the black fields and that's where the blue lagoon is and under that is like a volcanic system and that's called Sund Hjunga Giga Röð. So, 
how, how to explain this one? <laughs> this is, I mean, how many lattices is this? It's like, uh, I think it's like 20 lattices or something. Too many. So this is also like, uh, if you break it down, you have shunt. This could of course be swimming. It's easy to get to that uh, conclusion, but it's not. It's more like a channel or a, like a sound. It's like in, in, when in, on earth we have a channel through a, through a mountain or something, that will be shunt. Uh, Nyuka. This is perhaps a little bit complicated one because uh, Nyukar is, is basically a mountain. Uh, it's like, a, uh, it could be like our, our highest mountain is called, called Kvannadals Hnukus. And then we have Giga. Gigar is craters. Uh, and then we have Röð. And then we have both Ö and Eð, both very Icelandic letters. And Eð is similar to the top. It's TH just with like not as a harsh, like you, you don't say th, you say th, th. you put a small, like a small sound into it. So, sund nyuka giga röð means a channel mountain crater series. <laughs> <laughs> Simple enough, right? Okay. So, dear John, my guinea pig. Okay. Can you, can you say this? Sund nyuka giga röð. Yeah. Pretty, I mean, I could understand it actually. Right. And that's, that's what really matters here, is basically uh, that uh, we can understand it. But if you try to, to say it fast, this is of course absolutely nightmarish. But it's not that complicated when it comes to it, right? What do you feel about it's this? Not that bad. No. Do, you feel, do you feel dyslexic when you're <laughs> reading uh, if you break it? Down, when you break it down into the individual words and give them meaning, it's a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Be a but teacher. I still wouldn't say it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think uh, news anchors around the world, if this happens, will uh, have a fun time. Yeah, right. Yeah. At least we will have a lot of fun time because hearing uh, reporters trying to say Eyjafjallajökull Jökull is nothing less than comedy gold. So that's it. Uh, these are the words. You can watch this again and again until you get the pronunciation uh, correct. correct. Uh, and yeah, feels simple in Icelandic at least. Thrawin skelter hrun, faradal sjall. Or if you want to put it in a sentence, close to Fardarsjalli in Thrawnskatarhrauni, possibly there will be uh, in the Sundnukagiyarhrauni. In the